feel like I came too far just to give up on my home buying journey. Anyway, y'all, I'm getting a little worried. Um, I haven't heard from my husband, and that is not like him. Um, he had got into a fight. Now look at this bathroom. Now this. Whew, my lord. This y'all. It just don't motivate you. Okay, so now I'm at I think it's Cedar home. Gotta check that BOGO while we in here. to my OGs. Today is Saturday morning. It's a weekend vlog. Hey. So I'm about to get my lashes done. I'm running a little late. I just wanted to go open the vlog. I gotta go. I'm dressed for the gym. I'm going to the gym when I get done getting my lashes done. Yeah, we got a couple of things to do today. So I'll talk to y'all in the car because I'm running a little late. Young on the one that back calling me splurge. Drop me drunk right on the curb. Bend this fly like a bird. Spin on the first and the third. Solid, I'm keeping my word. Take me my equal, I don't know what you heard. Crack up the phone, I swear. Keep me a stick of that. Okay, y'all. I just left my appointment. Um, ooh, my hair messed up because I be laying down. But I told her to go a little shorter this time. And I don't know if I like it now. <laughs> It's not her fault. I told her to go shorter. But, yeah. I don't know if I like this them. <laughs> anyway. um, I'm about to meet my best friend. I'm about to meet Ryan. Um, So, y'all. I want to go look at a few houses. Dr I think it's pronounced Dries. Dries Homes. It's building a new subdivision. Um, And I like Dries Homes. And every time I would go look at a Dries Homes it would be at so you know once they start uh, um once they start building in the subdivision you got to get in in the beginning that's when it be cheaper and they go up every three or five houses they sell the price go up so every time i would go look at adri's homes one was in like eagle landing which is a golf course and um panthers creek they was already up in the high fours almost close to the fives so now they build a brand new subdivision they haven't even started yet so i want to look um i don't know so i be feeling like i came too far just to give up on my home buying journey i paid so much money to clean my credit up and stuff so sometimes i be saying that i still want to purchase again but i'm gonna take y'all with me house hunting but y'all this time if i do decide to go for a water house i'm not saying nothing until i get that key and i know y'all can respect that i just want to keep it to myself this time um, but I am gonna take y'all with me just a little even if I wasn't buying a house I like to look at model homes. So we headed there And yeah, I see y'all when we get there the bird, uh, shitting on all you little turds. Can't take that dick with your turn. In my own way, we can merge. So in our hands, you can learn. Okay, y'all, I'm here. I'm just waiting on my best friend. Um, so y'all, this wouldn't be the sub if I bought this wouldn't be the subdivision. This is just where they have, like I was telling y'all, this is pretty far. Well, it's not far from where I live now. It's probably about 15 minutes away from where I live. Now, this is considered Middleburg. It's not Jacksonville. I don't live in Jacksonville anyway. I live in Orange Park, but so this is not considered Orange Park. This is considered the bird. But anyway, y'all, I'm getting a little worried. Um, I haven't heard from my husband, and that is not like him. Um, he had got into a fight, and they had, and then it was he had got into a fight, and then he had problems with like bad treatment in one of the prisons. So I had his lawyer 
we worked on it. They had him move to a different prison. And then yesterday when I talked to him, they was giving him a hard time again. And I haven't heard from him last night or this morning. And that is not my husband, baby. That man called me all day long. So I'm kind of concerned. And his lawyer don't work on the weekend. So I can't even, I'm not going to bother her and have her check the jail. Hopefully he'll just call me soon. He don't even know I'm here. But hopefully he'll call me soon because I'm worried. If I, When I don't hear from him, I get worried. And I told him to just try to, you know, he gets sentenced Wednesday. Hopefully he'll come home Wednesday, y'all. I'm praying he come home Wednesday. But if not, he'll be shipped to prison. To You know, he got a prison holdover right now. He'll be shipped out to the prison. I'm just like, just hold on. Don't get in no trouble till Wednesday. Even though sometimes, y'all, in jail, it don't like you. It, you Some stuff you can't control. You really can't, like, you really could try to stay out of trouble as much as you can, but you will have some people that will just try you on the strength. Like, the dude was jealous that my husband get commissary, and he don't. Like, my husband got a lot of commissary. Like, my husband get a lot of money sent to him. And you got people in there who don't have nothing, nobody. And my, the thing about my husband, y'all, he, he get on my nerve. He be making me mad because I'm like, hey, but I know that's his heart. I'm like, hey, baby, you be giving all your food away and sharing but you know what I'm saying? Like, you ain't got it like that. We ain't got it like that no more, baby. I know you want to help people who don't have nothing, but we ain't got it like that no more. He be making me mad. Sometimes I be like, I ain't sending you no money this week. You want to give all your food away. But that's just how he is, y'all. My husband is a very giving person. But yeah, so the dude, my husband had not even helped this dude. He had not gave him a few soups and stuff. And he just was starting drama with him. And he called him a P-A-N. Y'all know what it is. And that's the worst thing you could call a black man is a P-A-N. You you can't call no black man that. You can't. Uh. Uh. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. You can't do that. So yeah, like those are fighting words. Like, and my husband really, really try and try and try and try and try. But sometimes that's just, just just stay just stay just stay your ass out of prison and you don't have to deal with that. So yeah, let me call my best friend and see what she get. I need to text my kids and tell them to go ahead. And send me they um their Christmas list. I need to get started. I need to start a little way for my boys, y'all. Ain't no shame in my game, baby. <laughs> little way, baby. Back when I was um younger, baby, I used to beat little way down until I got on my feet. So now that I'm not all the way back how I was, we doing a little way. <laughs> Is so um my two my oldest daughter, y'all. This little girl right here, she I guarantee y'all she'll say something like. I want a Louis purse or something. That's how she is, y'all. My younger daughter, she'll be like, just give me some Vans, some Converse. She's so easy. That old, that oldest one, baby. <laughs> if you know her, you know she's a brat. And it's my fault I made her like that. I be like, girl, who the fuck would ask somebody for stuff like, like, who, who, at, girl, I ain't get my first Louis purse I was in my 20s. She asked me for an MCM purse last year. I mean, I got it for her, but she is a spoiled brat y'all she is so bougie that's what they call her bougie tie she is so bougie and i feel like my mama said it's my fault but that's what she'll ask me for y'all i can't wait to tell y'all what she asked me for for christmas because i promise you that's what she'll say she'll say something like a porsche or i think she asked me for a benz i think she did you know i have i have put her my daughter if y'all don't know my daughter went to fam you fam you is like a thing for my family like it runs in the family like we have a lot of alumni, and my sister graduated from family. You, I tried to, get, I tried to go, but I had a baby, and my mom was like, "That's your little red wagon, you pull it." And I don't blame her. I'm glad my mama made me stay and raise my own child. I still went to college, but I'm glad she made me stay and raise my own baby. Even though she did a lot, she thought that was her baby. But anyway, I had got my daughter in fam. You like my sister before my sister died. My my daughter knew my sister wanted her. To, my daughter was in school pre med to be a doctor. And she just, we ain't gonna get into that. But she's not in FAMU anymore. But I was gonna buy her a Benz. When she graduated, I was gonna buy her a Benz. I was. I was definitely gonna, I didn't care what I had to do. I was gonna buy my baby a Benz. Like, she would be the first doctor. I won't say the first. We have one more doctor in our family. But she would be the second doctor in our family. She say she still wanna go back to school for, oh, this is my husband now, y'all. Let me call y'all back. Entry. Oh wait, Ryan, did we go down here? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is another bathroom. This is a single story. 
thirty. What do you say? Thirty four hundred square feet, Ryan. Yeah. Thirty four hundred square feet. This is pretty. Walk-in closet. Five bedrooms. This is nice. This is nice. Oh, you grabbed my purse for me. Oh, thank you. She's so pretty. Look at Ryan, she looks so cute. <laughs> I wanted one of those purses. I wanted the black one. Mm -hmm. You seen the black one? That's cute though. I ain't never seen pink. I ain't no pink my color. It's pretty. Really? Now look at this. This ain't cabinet space. It's a motherfucking pantry. This shit is nice. They did that. This nice. I had it so pretty. Notice they lunch. Mm. Could they be here all day? It's so pretty. The living space not that big for a million dollars, but mm, it's okay. It's a big office. It's pretty. You got a bedroom over here with a walk-in closet. And then this one has a bathroom. So like your oldest child or like a guest suite. Got a really deep tub. So yeah. Ryan, what you feel about this living space? Not that big, huh? But it's doable. It's doable, yeah. Well, we watch movies a lot. Like, we were literally... Oh, this is the Restoration Hardware, honey. This is the RH, honey. They paid some money for this. This is nice. You can always make that movie, huh? Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't make it a game room. I would make this. So, this is the game room. I would make this a, um... Like you say, a movie room. It basically looked like a movie room, don't it? nice i love all the natural light oh that's a nice family i wanted to that the ceo he got a closet in here too yeah. and a desk so they could do their homework mm -hmm. that's cute i'll put like the theater chairs in here mm -hmm. that's my goal you know i had wanted to do that for boo the theater chairs, theater chairs yeah now look at this bathroom now this Whew. My Lord, even though I wanted a, a tub, I could work with this. I could work with this. This is pretty. Oh, this so pretty. Oh my God. The things you could do in there, Ryan. You picked up with her. Smoking at me. Right, this is so, this is so pretty. We got upper counter space. Oh, so what would you put in here? Mm. Towels. Something. But you got a towel closet behind the door. Oh, yeah. A linen closet. It's pretty. But it has a little home you can add shelves. Shelves, in. yeah. Got marble floors. This is the master bedroom. It's nice. Am I missing anything? Did I get everything? Back patio. This is so peak. Look at this. This is huge. That's what they got in the backyard. Keisha. Mm -hmm. Who's Keisha? Keisha. Okay, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I love Keisha. Yeah. Yeah. That's what um Boo want to do build a fire pit with these brick pavers. This is pretty. Oh my God. So pretty. So peaceful. The tray doors. This is pretty. <laughs> you get a house this big, like. House was beautiful, and he said all of these houses are on a acre and a half. So yeah, that house is beautiful. Dre's homes is everything because you can they're like really really close to custom 
so yeah like it you can change a lot of stuff about these houses so i really 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 like these uh, nah <laughs> baby don't get it twisted this ain't gonna be what i buy if i buy i can't afford this baby these million dollar houses that house that we just toured was a million dollar house well it was 850 plus the lot premium so yeah that's a million dollars to me but yeah i mean it's good like like if you like y'all take the time and go walk through model homes it's motivating like especially like um real expensive ones like yeah like in nicer areas like it's motive it's motivational like it, it, it makes you want to do better in life it makes you want to be able to afford it it makes you want to be able to buy it like yeah look at this y'all hold on let me show y'all look at that that's the master bedroom with the freaking balcony dog look at that look at that oh this house is empty i want this the door open oh i want to go in this y'all if this don't motivate you i always wanted a black and white house y'all know my house i got built it was black and white i wonder is this door open please be open it's locked but look in there look at this door it's so pretty hey so now i'm at i think it's cedar homes they're building a brand new subdivision too which is not open yet so same situation i'm gonna go in here and see if i can get information on the new subdivision because there's nothing available yet to look at and look i've never seen the inside of a cedar home so let's go inside hillcrest bonus okay so i guess this is the master yeah, I guess this is the master. We gotta walk in, shower. So, insert. <laughs> Not that big though. Let me see the closet. The closet. Okay. Eating kitchen. It's a sitting area. Okay. It's the pantry. Okay. Washer, dryer. Okay. So where you're sitting, this is a bedroom, right? Yeah, we just use this in the office. Okay. Oh, this is a big bedroom. Go to the bonus room. Okay, so this is the bonus room. Okay, y'all. I wasn't impressed by that house. Um, I it's hard to like once you see a Dries home, it's hard to like y'all seen it. Y'all seen the difference. And then the guy, he wasn't even really friendly. Like, I feel like you should treat everybody who come through as a potential customer because you don't know my pockets. You don't know if I'm. You don't know how much I'm approved for. Like, sir, with like, no. Nah. I'm going to keep being humble. <laughs> I'm going to keep being humble. But like people, sometimes some sales agents be like that. They'll just look at you and be like, okay, like he didn't give me the time of day. Like he was just very like, versus the guy at Dree's home was very informative. He took his time to show me everything, shook my hand. This guy left the door open. Like hurry up and leave. That is so rude to me. Like, sir. I have the credit, like I have the credit to buy this house. I have the income to buy it. I have for sure have the income to buy this house. And yeah, like you just don't do that. Like, I don't know that I wasn't impressed. Anyway, y'all talk to my husband, everything is okay. Oh, that's so cute. They did a Christmas tree on their porch with full of Halloween stuff. That's cute. But y'all talk to my husband, everything is okay. He good. Y'all, I want that Dries home, but Y'all, I ain't finna lie. Like, I could buy a house, like, 
I was approved for 465 with another builder, but I can't get no million dollar house. But I mean, that's because of this area where those houses are on an acre and a half. So of course, yeah, it's gonna be more. Um, yeah, I just gotta wait. They haven't released the prices yet. So I just gotta wait and see. I know the Dries homes cross the streets. They was in the high four, like they was the half a millions. So yeah, let me um, let me get to the gym. I'm walking up to the gym. About to go in. Okay, y'all. I'm just leaving the gym. It was a lot of people in there, y'all, and I was shy. I was shy, child. I beat grown ass. Was shy to be recording. But yeah, I'm about to go. On. I think I'm gonna go to the car wash first, and then I'm about to go on and um clean my buildings. I got since I gave up a building, I only got three buildings to clean today, and then we gonna get out there. I wanna go out. I think I wanna go out tonight. But my hell, like I been. Y'all know how when you have your hair pinned up so much, um, mm, maybe if I flat iron it, it'll come back to life. Like it's not lost. It's bounce and stuff. And I can't wash it because it's a quick weave. If it was a sewing, I could have washed it and brought that thing back. But, and I don't, because mm, I'm redoing my hair too, so y'all. I, I got to look cute for the trial, baby. I ain't seen my husband. The only time I got this, I haven't seen my husband in almost three months besides that video that I did the other day, the other week, and it cut off within like the first couple of minutes or so. It cut off so fast. So I haven't seen him, but oh, I seen him when he went to court and that was two months ago. So I haven't seen him in two months. So yeah, I wanna look cute. I wanna look cute, child. Let him know what he, what he missing. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm about to go to the car wash. Damn, I just passed by a car wash. I didn't know that car wash was open. I just got the Publix, wash the car, vacuum out. I gotta get all the kids stuff out of the back seat. I think I'm gonna do Uber tonight, y'all. Instead of going out, I think I might. If I don't go out, I'm gonna do Uber. Get my money up. I've been spending a lot of money and I ain't got nothing to do. I'd rather make money than just. I don't know. We'll see. I say that now. But anyway, I just got the Publix. I'm about to go in here and get me um some. They be having those um like baked Mardi Gras wings. So I want me some of those and some green beans. So yeah, I'm gonna get me a little dinner. Right, let's go on in here it's not crowded so hopefully they got some because they be selling out gotta check that bogo while we in here it's twinkies kaden okay, like twinkies oh, look at this twinkies balls that's cute I get it. they don't like tampico but i get this and a little donut pack gonna be driving so I can't really do a salad that's gonna be dangerous sure. excuse me so, I'll just get my bogo deals and go okay y'all so I got four boxes of snack cakes and um 
four boxes of snack cakes and two packs of Eckridge sausage for $15.97. So I think that was pretty good. But what I'm gonna do is go to Aldi. I'm gonna try to get all my groceries for the week from Aldi and I'm gonna try to stick to a $100 budget. So yeah, let me get to these buildings. I guess I'm gonna just drink my water because I don't wanna mess up. I'm not really starving anyway. So what if what? I just drank my water, get to these buildings. I'm running, I don't never go to my buildings this late ever. But I wanted to get that stuff done. And I know if I would have waited to, to after I got done to go to the gym, I wouldn't have went to the gym. I'm going to just be real. So, Leah, let me get to these buildings because I'm already behind. Y'all, I just got to my first building. I cannot believe it is it's this late. I normally come here early in the morning. But let me put my um, sweatshirt on because it be people inside of here. I'm at CSX and it be... A bunch of men in there if it's most of my buildings i don't have people there while i'm cleaning so that's why y'all never see me in like a uniform i need to start back wearing my uniform when i come here but these dudes they cool as heck like they just be trying to flirt and i just be trying to get my work done and i be like they be like i'll get that trash for you and i be like okay get the trash clean the toilet whatever you want to do but let me go in Okay, y'all, I'm leaving my last building, which is the bank for today. I'm done cleaning buildings for today. And y'all, I'm not tired, surprisingly. Like, I'm not tired. I've been back taking my supplements for a week. And I feel good. I got energy. So we about to go to Aldi. We're going to do a $100 haul. Because we're shopping on a budget. We've been spending too much money. But it's not unnecessary money. It's been stuff we need. So... We're gonna go there, put the groceries up, and then we're gonna um we're gonna um we're gonna put the groceries up and then we're going to put some furniture together, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. We're gonna put some furniture together. I'm not tired right now, but I don't know how I'm gonna feel later. But yeah, that's done. What time is it? Let me see what time it is. I never get done this late on a Saturday. I like to get it over with. It's right at 5 o'clock. But that's okay. We got a lot of stuff done. We went to the gym. We went house hunting. We cleaned three buildings, y'all. this I'm going to label this video a day in the life of a prison wife because this is not how my life would be if my husband was home. It would not be going like this. Oh, y'all. I end up getting um KFC, grilled chicken and string beans. Um... But yeah, this is a day in the life of a prison wife because, baby, if Boo was here, I wouldn't have to do all this. He would have done. He would have done took the buildings over for me, especially on a Saturday. Or he would have had people, like I said, we had employees. He would have rounded them up, made them come with us, or come with him. He would have brought like it would have been different. But this is my life. I'm getting accustomed to it. Like I got me a routine now, y'all. I got me a routine. As long as I stick to the script. Long as I stick to the script, everything goes smoothly. So yeah, I'm so glad I started back taking my supplements. If you've been tired and you have lack of energy, lack of drive, motivation, sometimes you can't get out of the bed. If you suffer from these symptoms like I once did, please take your supplements. Take your vitamins. Cause I feel good. Your girl feel good. I'm going to see if I can pull this hair together to go out tonight. Because, yeah, I feel good, baby. Having it up, bow. Anyway, let's go to Aldi. Uh, okay, we at Aldi's. Y'all, this is why I don't like to wear my good clothes when I'm cleaning buildings. Because, baby, I like bleach. I feel like it ain't clean if it ain't no bleach on it. And look what happened. Child. Hopefully, I can wrap this where well, nobody can. Oh my God. Oh my God. Let me get out of the car and look and see. Can you see this? Because I'm mad about that. I like this sweatshirt. Anyway, let's go on in here. $100. Y'all make me stick to the budget. And no, y'all cannot see it in the car. Get your ass out. Come on. You ain't finna sit on that phone. All right, let's go on in. Oh, I gotta pay for a buggy. I forgot. Let me find a quarter. 
She just gave me a buggy so I didn't have to pay a quarter. Pay it forward. Okay, let's go. Mini bag of avocado, two fifty nine. So okay, we're gonna get that. This is a cheap bag of apples. And my baby loves apples. I'm getting some apples. Oh, keto collie cheese. Ready in five minutes. Hmm. It's worth a try. How many calories? Oh, only 80 calories. Okay, $4.99. Perfect pairing grapes. $7.99. I know that's expensive, but I like these. So I'm gonna get these. Fresh green beans. I know I'm gonna cook something with it this week. Any cucumbers, $1.89. I love these. Yeah, I ain't even keeping up with the price. How much y'all think that is? Mm, no. Try pack of green peppers, $1.99. I need that. Okay. Super sweet tomatoes, $1.99. Okay, this is a pretty big ketchup for $1.79. I don't know how it tastes, but we're gonna try it. My kids drink ketchup. I kinda want some new salad dressings. Mediterranean, this look good. Hmm, I'm gonna try it. Oh, they sweets. Ooh, apple cider donuts. Okay, I don't need that. We sticking to the script. Are these the sweets? Oh, that look good. Okay, keep going. Of course, the kids need chips. So, I think we buy that 30, y'all. I think. Keep going, because we ain't even got no meats yet. So, yeah. Pace yourself, Ebony. Kombucha. Passion fruit tangerine. Okay, it's flour. I know for sure I need sugar. How much is this sugar? We don't see a price. Oh, this sugar high. Damn. It's on the cane? I need it and I don't want to go to another store. So sugar. Carnation milk. I'm going to get theirs. 89 cents. Evaporated milk is evaporated milk, baby. Yup. Get one can of corned beef hash because I got one at home. It's gonna be dinner one day. I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna do it. Beef stock, one fifty five. Beef bouillon cubes. Black pepper. I for sure need rice. Yeah. What else? Rice for sure. And then we're gonna look at the meats. I'm gonna pay for this separate, but I need some OxyClean and it's $8.99 here for this big one. That's good. It's really good for short ribs. It's $5.53. Water, $4.99. That's pretty cheap. But, guys, I need some potatoes, red skin potatoes. rice and then that'll be it normally get parboiled rice they don't have parboiled but this is 5.89 for this big bag of rice and rice it's good i'm gonna get it just to have it. all right let's go see what it comes up to let's see
Okay, y'all, so we back home. I did really good. I stuck within my budget. I had to put the avocados back. I ended up being able to get everything else. And I just bought the um the OxyClean on a different tab. But my total was $98. And then y'all remember I also had this stuff from Publix earlier. So yeah, like we did 120 this week for groceries. I think the only thing I still need is some lunchables for the kids. I didn't see no lunchables. But I, up, I might end up just making them sandwiches because I got this bread that I don't want to go bad. So I probably make them sandwiches all week. But yeah, that's the only thing I was not able to get. Cause y'all know I had these sausages. They been sitting out for a while too. I didn't put these in the fridge. Keep keeping all my receipts with Fetch Rewards. Make sure you use your Fetch Rewards. I'm gonna list my link below. So let me take everything I got. Let me show y'all what all I got. Okay, so we got this keto friendly meal sugar salmon i have another pack of salmon in my freezer but i wanted this one um because i'm gonna cook them <laughs> y'all see tomorrow two packs of country style um ribs pork ribs tomatoes grapes the perfect pear um fresh green beans we got bell pepper baby cucumber mini cucumbers apples spinach we got a pack of chips 18 pack, some red skin potatoes, a big bag of jasmine rice, tomato, I mean, <laughs> tomato, ketchup. We got some dressing, a kombucha, a dozen of eggs. We got pepper, beef bouillon, two evaporated milks, two um, things of um, jumbo flaky biscuits, butter biscuits, heavy whipping cream, beef stock, a can of corned beef hash, and um, some spring water. I think that was pretty good for $98. Three packs of meat. Like this is gonna get us through the whole week because you gotta think like, so this country rib, I know for sure that'll last us for two days. I don't know if the, spink, the salmon will, but so that's one, two, and then the corned beef hash, that's another day. I normally don't cook on Fridays. So yeah, you girl, I, I did good. Comment down below, let me know what y'all think. Okay, I want to show y'all some stuff that I got from Ross. But, okay, for Amazon, I wanted me a better little stand so I can make get y'all better videos since my camera, I still won't have it for about two more weeks. So, this is a tripod of like a sturdy one so I can get good angles. I feel like I've been doing boring angles. I was able to do better angles with my camera. But, y'all, I got these boots from Ross. These little Austin Power boots. I think I'm gonna return them though. They was $24.99. They was cute, but I'm like, do I really need them? I don't know. I was like, I wanted to do something for me because I haven't literally really bought me anything this year. Because before my husband went to jail, I gotta remember I was saving for my house. So I really wasn't doing nothing. But yeah, and then I can try to start my Christmas shopping early. So Ross had these um, polo. My husband loves night shoes, bedroom shoes, house shoes, whatever. He loves them. So Ross had these polo ones. I think they was $30, $27.99. That was a good deal. So I got him now. His birthday is in on the 16th. I got this. As y'all know who I'm gonna give it to, but just Pink Friday. I just when I be seeing little stuff, I just grab it and then I decide who I'm gonna give it to for Christmas. Probably Lana. I get this too. And that was on the $17.99. I got Kayden a pack of True Religion t-shirts of one, two, three, four pack for $12.99. And then I saw this cute little sweater for Cam. Cause it's getting cold and it was on the $5.99. But it's cute, I like those colors. And then, but this, this it right here, y'all, hold on. This it right here. Baby, when I saw these, I had, if y'all don't know, I'm a sneakerhead. Like, I love sneakers. Y'all can't tell lately because I've been unable. <laughs> but I'm a sneakerhead. But baby, these Converse was, look at these, y'all. Look at it. Look. Y'all, look. these are so freaking cute. They are so cute. The girls who get it, get it. They are so so cute, y'all. I thought those were so cute. And it was only $36.99, regular $60. They, was, they so cute. 
I love these. Like, I love these. I'm keeping these. I think I'm going to take the, um, I know I'm going to take these back, but I'm keeping these. Hey, I want to put y'all up on game too. I don't know if y'all got a family dollar where you live, but family dollar be having some cute athletic wear. I got this sweatsuit. It is so cute. So the bottoms was ten dollars. It's just a cream color. Just something to run to the store in or something because it's getting cold. And the top was eight dollars. Yeah, eight dollars. So eighteen dollars for this cute look. That's cute, like. Just to go to the store, just something to have, $18, family dollar. <laughs> Y'all gotta learn to meet your highs and your lows, baby. Highs and your lows. Girls, and I just got the pumpkin. I like to use this in the shower on my feet. The um, pumpkin stone. But anyway, let's, so y'all, y'all see over there, it's only a few boxes left. So what can I put together tonight that won't take that long? Let's see. So, uh-oh, and I'm breaking my own room. I got rule, I got shoes on. Take these shoes off. But I think that, I think the entry table probably should be easy. Or should I put together the entertainment unit? Hmm. Nah, I ain't got time for entertainment unit today. I think the entry table probably is the easiest thing. So let's try to put this together. Okay, y'all, this is how it looks. I absolutely love it. It is so cute, so chic, so modern. This was so easy to put together. It took me probably 15 minutes. This one was really easy, y'all. I will list it down below. It came from Amazon. I think it was like a hundred and it was no more than $130. So cute. So I got some stuff. Hold on, let me put this stuff on the table. Hey, y'all, I can't quite figure out where I put the stuff I want on that table, but it's like a um a book holder, like the new style where the book is open and we'll do it tomorrow. Anyway, I'm getting ready to hop in the shower, try to do something to my hair because yeah, I'm going out. I decided I'm gonna go ahead and go out. My um cousin-in-law, my cousin, my boo's cousin, which is now my cousin, she called me like, uh, get here. So I called my best friend. She gonna roll with me. Even if she didn't, I y'all know I'll go by myself. But I'm about to get ready. Okay, y'all, I'm dressed and ready. I straightened my hair. It's getting raggedy, but I'm taking it out on um, Monday night. And I just got on like a little leather skirt. Hold on, let me move this camera, hold on. So I just got on this little leather skirt. I got on some, I hope y'all can see green donks, green purse and a little shirt and I straightened my hair and just a leather skirt, all this old. But um, yeah, this really doing too much. It's like a real chill spot. If you live in Jacksonville and you already know about Kelly's, it's in the hood. It's just fun, like one thing about me and I told y'all, I, I can hang with the bougie and I can hang with my people. So yeah, this is like a little chill, little ghetto hood spot, but it'd be, it'd be a good, good time. So I used to go with my husband, that's his that's his hood over there. And I started out going with him and I ended up liking it. So yeah, I told him I was going. He was like, go ahead, baby. So yeah, I'm gonna um, talk to y'all in the car. Okay, y'all, so Ryan already at the club, so i'm headed there i had to stop to the atm of course they don't take cards so yeah but i'm probably like 
I can get there in like 15 minutes. Hey y'all, it's the next day. When I tell y'all I had a good time, I'm just, it's 219. I ne I'm not a lazy type of female. I'm not a female that lay around, right? I never lay in my bed this late. Even though I just edited the video that took me like two hours that y'all finna see right now. I wanted to come out and close it because I noticed at the end of the vlog, I didn't close it. But I've been laying, y'all, I had the worst headache when I tell you, baby, hey, baby, we had a good, me and my best friend had, oh, God, we had a good time. It was my best friend, my cousin-in-law, my brother-in-law, my, um, my husband, brother, baby. He bought us so many drinks. I had the worst headache. Y'all, I have not had a hangover this bad in so long. I had the worst headache. My best friend texted me this morning. She was like, I had so much fun. We have not parted like that since La Villa days. Like, we used to have so much fun in La Villa. But, y'all, I I came straight home and got in the bed. I washed my face because I wasn't going to um, get these white sheets dirty. But I got straight in the bed after I washed my face, y'all. I talked to my husband. He was like, babe, you had fun. I'm like, yeah. Like, y'all, let me tell y'all one thing I love about my husband. He's so supportive. Like, he ain't no crab husband. Like, he ain't he don't try to hold me back if i want to spend time with my friends he he encourages me he be like go here with ryan go there with ryan call this person call this person he be like i pay for y'all he encourages me to get out and that just means a lot to me coming from a marriage that i was in because i promised myself i'm not gonna allow nobody to not let me be me and like in this marriage i was gonna be me and he allows me to be and he respects that sometimes i'm gonna want to hang with my friends and I'm going to want to hang with you. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like in life, you need that balance. It's not always about you. I mean, me and him, in the beginning, I had to teach him, like, hey, he ain't always about you, y'all. I had to teach him. I ain't going to lie. I had to teach him. But I put my foot down with that because that's just something. Like, I'm, you, he never, let me say this. He never not allowed me to be me, but he used to always want it just to be us. And it can't be like that. And he's so encouraging now, like, I think that was just like in the beginning you know how you just be in love and doing stuff anyway because he he always tell me like get out or whatever but yeah like y'all when i wanted to go to i ain't gonna lie to y'all i wasn't gonna go to california i told my best friend i wasn't gonna go because i had not spent so much money like getting furniture buying the kids like warm clothes and just buying stuff around the house and food it adds up so i was like i'm not gonna go my husband made his shake way in jail so i can go and that means a lot to me. Like, I had got a cash app. And I was like, who cash app at me? And for him to get on the phone and, like, make things shake so that I can go on my trip, that means a lot. Like, that means a lot. Like, he could have just sat back at me and like, oh, well, we can't afford it. Like, you know? Anyway. So, yeah, I just talked to him. He was like, I'm so glad you had fun. I'm so glad you got out of the house. He keep telling me to get out of the house. But, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog and start a new one. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I love y'all, you gang. I'm gonna know one that back calling me splurge. Let me jump right on the curb. Bitch, let's fly like a bird.